Hello Grade 3s! This week for our Animal Kingdom we will be covering the topic of insects. This week we will specifically be looking at types of insects, their characteristics and build, the life cycle of a bee, useful insects and harmful insects. Characteristics of insects There are between 6 and 10 million different types of insects. They come in thousands of shapes, colors and sizes. Insects are invertebrates, which means that they do not have a backbone. They are cold-blooded, which means that their body temperature changes depending on how warm or cold the air around them is. Let's look at the build of an insect. All insects have three parts to their bodies, the head, the thorax, the abdomen. They have two antennae or feelers on their head and they have six legs. The life cycle of a bee. Bees are insects. They live in groups called colonies. They undergo four stages to complete one life cycle. These stages are egg, larva, pupa and adult. There are three types of bees. The first is the queens, who are the only female bees with the capabilities to produce eggs. Second, the drones, which mate with new queens. These are bees that have no stingers. And third, the worker bees, which collect food for the colony. These include non-reproducing females. That means females that do not lay eggs. The queen lays a single egg in each cell of the honeycomb. It is said that a queen lays approximately 2,000 eggs per day. She mates with the drones who die soon after. Once an egg is laid, the larva inside begins to grow. It takes four days for this egg to hatch into a white legless larva. Fertilized eggs will eventually become worker bees while the unfertilized eggs develop into drones or future queen bees. Now that the larva has hatched, the worker bees feed the larva a mixture of royal jelly and bee milk for the next two days. On about day nine, the larva will stop eating and spin itself a cocoon and begin to take the form of a pupa, much like a caterpillar. This cocoon is sealed into the cell by the worker bees. In the pupa stage of their life cycle, the bees begin to develop legs, eyes and wings. When the bees reach a stage of maturity, they chew their way out of the cell and emerge as adults. This stage takes around 10 to 23 days, depending on the type of bee it will become. The adult stage is the final stage of metamorphosis for the bee. It is now fully grown. A new queen bee is born to replace a dying queen or she will leave the colony to start her own. Here is a visual representation of the life cycle of a bee. Again, we start with an egg that hatches into a larva. Once the larva is fully grown, it seals itself into a cocoon and enters the pupa stage. In the pupa stage, the bee starts to develop wings, eyes and arms and then the bee emerges as a fully grown adult. Uses of insects. Insects provide useful services to mankind and the environment in a number of ways. 
They keep pest insects in check, pollinate crops we rely on as food, and act as sanitation experts, cleaning up waste so that the world doesn't become overrun with dung. It may be our instincts to avoid insects, but not all of them are plotting world domination. In fact, some are quite helpful to humans and the environment. Check out which insects are good allies to be around. The first insect we will be looking at are bees. Bees transfer pollen between plants, helping with pollination. They also collect nectar to produce honey. Without them, we would have not have fruits, vegetables or natural sweetener. Our second insect are ladybugs. Some bugs like amphids and mites enjoy snacking on our gardens, house plants and crops. Ladybugs help us out by eating these bugs. Their big appetites help prevent our plants from being damaged. Praying mantises. Praying mantises are very skilled hunters. They eat bugs that enjoy bothering us like flies and mosquitoes. They also protect our plants by eating harmful pests. Spiders. Spiders are one of the most effective predators of plant pests. Unlike other predators, they won't take a bite out of our plants. They also eat other crawling and flying pests around our home. Beetles. Beetles offer help in a variety of ways. They are decomposers who feed on decaying matter. Some beetles even help with pollination. Beetles with hairy bodies carry pollen with them as they travel. Harmful insects. Insects can also be pests. Some insects sting or bite people or other animals. Many insects can spread diseases to people, animals and plants. And some harmful insects eat crops, wood, clothing and carpet. Let's look at a few harmful insects. Number 1. Head lice. Head lice are small wingless insects that live in hair where they breed and feed on blood from the scalp. The saliva of head lice is irritating to the skin and often causes itching. 2. Cat flea. Fleas are pests which not only cause discomfort by biting, but also transmit several diseases such as plague and marine typhus. 3. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes act as a carrier to diseases such as malaria. The itching sensation of mosquito bites can cause restless sleep, inflammation and infection. 4. Sandfly. Sandflies are small insects, about one-fourth of mosquitoes. Parasites are picked up by the fly during the blood meal. Sandflies are the carriers of Kala Azar. 5. Bedbugs. Bedbugs are small wingless insects about 5 mm long. They prefer human blood but will feed on other mammals where necessary and can survive for several months without feeding. 6. The housefly. The housefly is a pest that can carry and transmit serious diseases such as tuberculosis, salmonella and cholera. The flies in poorer and low hygiene areas usually carry more illnesses. Number 7. Cockroaches. Cockroaches harbor and spread diseases such as salmonella and typhus, as well as viruses through the contamination of food. They inhabit areas such as sewers, urinals and garbage disposals.
In conclusion, insects can be found all around the world. At some point, we will have an interaction with them. Insects can be both useful and harmful to us, and it is important to know the difference.